I appear to be ascending to the dome now. I'm sorry. I should I could descend into madness and I definitely will do that if I have the option. Oh here she comes. Hey good lady. The sun and wind, the sea and rain provide for all our needs. We plant and reap. We teach and learn. We Cherish that which feeds. You said that before, actually. He has conquered. The yeah, you did say that. You said that. I'm so I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you and stuff, but if you are a little bit repetitive, it's probably. What is this? What? Ah. Cool, okay, that's a whole thing. What's this? A lectern. This is where I can, uh, this is where I can give my Scientology lectures from. Okay. Okay, so these... This, some stuff is going on here. What if I put this into the chunk? Yeah, I can plug that shit in. Plug it in. See what happens, I don't know. Wop, 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 wop. We're here in this weird place. Damn, we don't know what's going on. Bop, bop on. But there's chicken and chair, and like maybe she'll tell us how to kill the dog team. Here. Yeah. Thank you. What would I do without you? Jesus. I'd be lost, wouldn't I? I wish I could remember what that actually looked like before. I really. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hi. Uh, do you want to help me? You can help me if you I want. I don't understand the, this. this machine. But I. Me neither. We'll help. help you as much as I. If you could do that, that would be so... That would be fucking great, actually. Oh, I've got a question mark um, cursor. That's new. Okay, yeah. Well, go on then. Okay, so now I can ask... Yeah, okay. I can be like, what the fuck is this? The gong yeah, calls what's with us the gong? to worship. Okay. What about this? This chamber is used by the priests. I do not know all their secrets. Alright then, keep your secrets. What about this thing? That one looks important. No shit. Oh, thank you. God. This is like... It's like... We should... We made this really fucking weird. And... Like, not intuitive. So why don't we just introduce a mechanic where, like... Lyril comes along and she's like, oh hey, I was just watching you do that and like, I can totally help you. And then they, she can help you and then all she says is, that looks important. Nice. Lyril, thank you. <sighs> no, I don't want to touch, touch any of those yet. I just don't think they're... Oh wait, did that change? Yeah, it just went up. So I think that's maybe the right place for that. Maybe I should change these. Or maybe I should put everything up that up. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now turn the- yeah, we fucking- yeah. Okay, so now we can see the volcano, where all the nasty shit happens and the dark being's there and he's got Elrond Hubbard and he's keeping Teddy Holmes in a cellar. We got our mud brick bird tower house. That looks like something from Mist, which like, totally reminds me anyway. I'd like to visit that. And that's the temple. So we haven't been there. That's actually a new place. That's fucking cool. Uh, no, no. Oh, what did I do? Why did I do that? 
Why'd I do that? I'm gonna save it to... What the fuck do these knobs do? Which is essentially a review of the game. Um, so I think, uh, I, like, eventually, I think what we're supposed to do is, like, when you pull the gong, wow, something should happen. So you can figure it in such a way that when you, you can, okay, and Dr. Quaid, you can ask her about stuff. So, like, the game developers, I think, were like, this is weirdly difficult, according to our testers, so what if we just had her be here and then you can talk to her and she's like I'll tell you how that works and um, if you ask her about something she all basically all she says is that looks important and you're like thank you I fucking know that forest okay so I can ask her about what's this think about far away places then you will see okay think yeah what about this, this chamber is used by the priests. I know that. What a... Okay, I want to ask her about this. So, excuse me, and what about... What's with this? This chamber is used not, by the priests. Not, not really helpful. I do not... That's all... That's all the good. That's all nicely set up and fine. Ask her about the gong. Yeah, so she says that's how they call to worship. I'll show oh, you. Why? Oh. A ruined earth. No, I want to. He has conquered. I the didn't fortress. skip her accidentally. He has vanquished people. A monster he put there to prevent. We know that, right? So maybe I have to go into the console, and I'm like, oh, what am I doing? I don't know. And then I go, oh, what? It's with all my shit. And there we go. What if I do this? Oh. Okay, that did something. What was that? This chamber. No, I know, I know, I know. No, let me, okay, let me go here, and then let me go ask, yeah. The Here's the gong. Calls us to worship. Yeah, and I want to know about, she wouldn't really tell you anything about this. What's this? The light makes you dis disappear here and reappear that could be a portal. there. Yes, okay. So now, okay. <coughs> Thank you, Lyril. So now I... And now I want to take me there. Okay, so now I've got... That's why it's different, because there's new coordinates for each place. So then go... No, excuse me, there. And then... No, down. Which... Which leaders were you thinking of? There's... Oh, these ones at the side? Yeah, so I... I actually don't know. I don't know. I'm scared to press them now because I want to see if this one will teleport me. Which I'm desperately hoping that it will because I just want to go back and get all those objects I didn't get before. Okay, so... Okay. Alright, maybe it is these levers. Oh shit! Dr. Boyd, how are you so good at this? Okay, that did a thing. What about this? The garlic shrine! It open it! Okay, this is good. And now this. Bah! No? What about. That sounded different. Okay, so ne please. Oh, did it die? No, don't die. Okay, alright, okay, okay, okay. Let's 
try it. Let's try again. Let's try again. I don't know what that does. Is that important? <laughs> oh, of course it is, you know? What does that do? That makes it go more. Oh, what's that gonna do? I kinda wanna see. Yeah, no, I, I, I ruined it. Excuse me, lady, what is. What this? That one could be dangerous. Okay, thanks. Thank you. That's good. <sighs> Very helpful. Maybe the destination isn't being set. The screen just turns off. Yeah, if I was designing, I would give more that more feedback too. I think that's why I have a like. I could be totally wrong here, but I have a feeling that the fact that she's here helping you might have been a later game addition. Um, just because this is a lot of the puzzles seem to be about the order in which you, you know, interface with whatever. But. This one seems like maybe maybe it was a bit hard for people. So I'm gonna turn this on. Maybe I'm choosing the wrong. What if I don't want the library? Is the library the only option? I don't want submarine. I don't think. I just want to try and go home. What did I do wrong? That thing. Turn that off. We've got that set, that's all done. Now we just gotta do this again. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, that sounded different. Okay. All right. Go on. Lectern. Oh yeah. I know that if the dark beam is not stopped, it will mean the end for our All of land. us, I know. Of that much, I am certain it may mean d d danger for your land as well. You must, you must stop, s stop him. There is Hello, no, no... No one left who can save us. Farewell. See you later, lady. L Lyril. Oh, I'm back. Praise be to heaven. Back in the house. Back in the house. I missed a bunch of shit here. Heaps of stuff is here that I just did not interact with because I was trying to be a hero and I just jumped straight into the portal to save because the, the dark being came right so Dr. Boyd like the dark being came and took Jeremiah Crick's baby he's a scientist who was like discovered the portal technology and Godel's theory and all that stuff and I just jumped straight in the portal and left all this shit behind so here we go here we go where do I start I'm so excited I'm gonna save Uh, let's go back home, baby. But not the baby. The yeah, baby isn't back home. That's quite sad, actually. So this is where I found the seashells. One of a set of excuse me seashells that um we gave the gave Lyril. Oh. Ba, 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 ba. What's up? Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, well, uh, let's find, let's find that. All right, so we've got. I love seashells. I think that's a, I think that's a goya, and also, this is this is a goya. This is Saturn devouring his son. Um. By Francisco Goya. Francisco Goya. I think his first name is Francisco, not Francesco. And yeah, so Saturn bang his son. This is essentially who was Zeus's dad? Kronos. Kronos. 
eating all of his children so that they wouldn't become more powerful than him. And Goya painted this on the walls of his home when he was old and he'd gone like deaf. It's actually really sad. And you can imagine being deaf like back in the day would be really difficult and isolating. Yeah, this is one of the paintings they found on the walls of his house. It's haunting. Truly haunting. What's that? Nothing. Is that a New York style library lamp? Oh, I'll open that drawer then. Go on. Here we go. Letter opener. Thank you very much for that. And you know what we're going to do now? Is use. Open that fucking letter. Show me. Show me. Give me the gas. Sydney. Something urgent has arisen and I must leave immediately. In the event that anything should happen to my person, please see that Amanda receives my last will and testament. You will find it in the safe in my study. Sincerely, Dr. Jeremiah Crick. 5-18-28. Okay. Cool. Alright. Excellent. Fuck yeah. Chuck this in my bag. Can't pick up anything else. Greta does love seashells. Loves them. Can't get enough. That is Rembrandt. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's um that's, I think it's actually a self-portrait of Rembrandt by Rembrandt. If you're ever interested in a very interesting podcast. Personally, I like I fucking love art heists. Art heists are probably I'm not saying it's a good good crime. American date format 518. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's totally possible. That's a good call. Yeah. There was a 5th of May 1928, possibly. I wonder what happened then on that day. But I wonder if it's related to the ship that you were talking about before. Um that Civil War era ship. That'd be interesting. Yeah, so Rembrandt. This is one of his self portraits, and there was another painting where he painted himself in that's very, very. It's possibly like one of the most famous paintings in the world, which is Christ in the Storm on the Sea of Galilee. And it was stolen from the Isabella Stewart Garden Museum in like the 70s or the 80s, like, I'm not sure. Um, and it's never been found and it's literally priceless um, it was stolen from the Dutch room you know, Rembrandt being Dutch and all and they stole a bunch of other shit as well never been found it's a really interesting case so there's a great podcast about it um, I can't remember what it's called but it's. I'm sure if you look up Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum Heist or Art Heist podcast you can see it, you'll see it. anyway, let's see Okay. July 1st, 4 p.m. I have just returned from the other side. As on the previous test run, the portal stayed open for almost an hour, convincing me that my most recent modifications to the power modulation tube were successful. On this last trip, I extended my explorations, following the path until I came to a tall building some distance down the rocky coast. <laughs> Approaching the tower, I was surprised to hear a voice call to me from a high window. I looked up to see a man waving excitedly. To my surprise, I could understand his speech. He invited me to come up at once. Right, yeah, okay. So then these two crazy scientists Thus, become friends. Thus, I made the acquaintance of another inhabitant in what I have come to think of as a parallel world. The eccentric old man turned out to be an inventor of strange animated contraptions. We sat in his workshop surrounded by mechanical odds and ends. His talk rambled from subject to subject in a disjointed manner I could not entirely follow. Several times he mentioned a dark being whom he feared and warned me about in gibbered, mm. broken words. That's our guy. I believe it is the creature from the beach. 
much of his rambling I was unable to comprehend. As I prepared to return to the portal, he suddenly began rooting among an assortment of gadgetry. After a few moments, the inventor revealed an intricate decorative box. To my surprise, he pressed it upon me with the utmost urgency. Okay. The inventor is obviously deranged, <laughs> though his inventions indicate genius as well. His strange behavior made me fear for my safety. I felt a sudden urgent desire to return to the portal, and so, is thanking him for his gift, I departed. Meanwhile, he's the like, The return to this world was baby, uneventful, but toddler child is I at home by am herself. troubled. Just what was the inventor trying to tell me? I have examined the box closely and have opened two of its inner panels, but I am unable to continue further. Okay, a bit weak on though. And that's probably it, rat. Is that a draw? No. Let's make sure. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't cut. <laughs> Let's have a look. The most relevant. Okay, so. You you look up the date on Wikipedia, the most relevant thing I found was the public demonstration for of the radio moving picture receiver. So television. That's cool. That's really interesting. So 928 people were like experiencing TV for the first time. That must have been a mind blow. Well, there's definitely like a connection there even just with the idea of in, in you know inventors and the exponential growth of technology and civilization and all that kind of stuff. Alright, we can turn turn this. Oh, here we go. Okay. Small squares. A couple of engineers, scientists and commissioners in labs and homes. Interesting. So like home demos and stuff. Yeah, not really the general public. That makes sense. I think there's people still alive who like describe what it was like to see that for the first time. That it was very like they're like, why is there a person in that tiny box? I know that. I mean, for our generation, like um, us '90s and late '80s kids, like our parents watched the moon landing on TV, and that's that to me is incredible. Like my dad tells me, you know the neighbors came over and like everyone sat around i'm not sure if oh he might have gone to a neighbor's house and like everyone watched the moon landing together and we just he said like he was just a kid and he was just totally mind blown by this thing and you know years later when star wars came out i think like a lot of that he said that it kind of was part of that magic like that whole new age of discovery kind of thing oh what's this Ah. Uh. The one in the top center does see. Yeah. Oh, something's opened. Okay. Boot that. What no, no, what happened? Oh, listen thing. Let me in. I touch everything. Let me touch all the bits. Ah, oh, that's a button. There you go. That was a little button right there. Oh no, I accidentally exited out. Oh, don't make me do it again. No, come on. No, looks like it went. Don't restart though. No, don't do that. No, don't. Save game. Puzzle box. Blues. There we go. <clears throat> Press that guy. Press that. Easy does it now, I don't want to accidentally click away. Any 
with the control. Mm. Oh, why did I just press it before? I didn't you know English ever? Okay, so we've got a weird key. That's good. We've got a weird key. Weird key. I'm always down for a weird key. Now that goes away. And that's going to close now. Okay, that's fine. And then, oh. Are you going to open or... Go on. Okay. Oh, that tiny square, that tiny square. Oh, I love these. I love these. This is, this is like a real slide puzzle, right? So Dr. Freud, like if you love slide puzzles, this is, ah, this is the kind of slide puzzle that is. Okay, let's fucking do this fucking slide puzzle. Yeah, boy, right? Fuck yeah, okay. I just gotta get myself into the be like water slide puzzle zone. Gonna pat my dog for luck. I love you, Fen. Yes, you're a good girl. Okay, all right. So we got it's got a circle around it. So we know that it's got a circle around it. Okay. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this this joy? Oh, what have I done to myself? Why would I stream my incompetence? Oh, thank Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. And to think my mum wanted to send me to gifted school. <laughs> um, okay. All right, let's save that. No! What are you doing? You did not. You did not. You didn't fucking not. You fucking didn't do that, did you? You fucking fuck you, Box. Oh, Box, you are going down. Box. I'm gonna kill this Box. If I have to do this from the beginning. Uh... I don't know what I'll do, actually. Do you know what? I'm not sure. Because I've never been put in such a irrational situation before. Oh, this is a new thing. Thank fuck for that. So... Well, what's this? So I feel like there was a series of symbols before and I didn't even pay attention to what the fuck they were, did I? Okay, so let's see. Green. Okay, let's just press all the green. da 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 ba da boop. Blue. Orange. Burr. Brown. Oh, circle, triangle, square, cross. Thank you. You are on fire. Circle, triangle. How do you remember these things? Square, cross. What's they doing? Brown, brown. Hmm. What do you want me to do, box? Does seem like trial, trial and error. That actually makes me feel better. Unlike the last puzzle, which was a pure logic puzzle. And, um... Yeah, let's just say I probably shouldn't... Be an astronaut. Where are the... Oh, where are the clues? Good point. Firstly, gonna save. Puzzle box blues. Accurate description. And need a hint. Yeah. You have found the puzzle box given to Dr. Crick for safekeeping by the inventor from the parallel world. Opening the box. Uh, what the fuck is that, by the way? Is that, are we going to see that? Is that a thing we're going to see? Oh, maybe that's the monster. Spoilers, gee. That's a ter it's terrifying. That's terrifying. Uh, opening the box involves solving a series of puzzles to reach something hidden at its heart. 
Well, no fucking shit, Sherlock. You cannot pick up the box, but it rotates. <laughs> Why not? I mean, you shouldn't. It should say you need not pick up the box, but it rotates using um, arrows to its right and left. Look for hidden buttons and switches to get inside. Keeping a pencil handy. Keep a pencil handy. Yeah, there's something you may want to write down. Okay. The third puzzle you encounter in the puzzle box is the hawk tile puzzle. I don't want to talk about that. It is solved by Sly. Yes, I know. Da -da -da. This reveals the hawk. Use the exit arrow to the right or left of the screen to exit to the long shot of the roll top desk. Repeat this four times and a solve it button will appear. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Doesn't really tell me anything. Wait, there's a cheat for the hawk. The hawk one? If this puzzle has you stumped, you can use the following cheat to get by. Click on the small square stud below the sliding panel that covers the hawk puzzle. This reveals the hawk tile. What? Use the exit. Okay, what? whatever. Whatever, man. I don't need your approval. Stupid box. Uh, yeah, try and click on all the same colours. We... There's more green than anything else, so I'll start there. They don't say anything about the fish. No, it's just the hawk that they talk about. Oops. Yeah, because it's like... It's got the blue and the green colour on the right-hand side, so it feels like that should be what you're meant to press. Or maybe you're meant to press everything but that. Do the fish click? No, they don't. The fish don't click. Maybe I should only press brown. Do you think the browns and the greys are actually different? Do you think that's a thing? Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, no, you're right. So you've got red. Let's say that, let's call this red. If, that, if that's red. God help the colorblind indeed. Well, they definitely can't be an astronaut, so... I mean, I'm sure that a colorblind person could be an astronaut. It's going to be very hard, and I think they do actually. People will try and stop you, but you know what? You shouldn't listen to it. Don't listen to them. Just do it anyway. Make your own rocket ship. I don't think I'm like. I'm just pressing all the things. Like, I'm not doing anything. I might come back to this, to be honest. Yeah. Fucking you, fuck you, puzzle box. Yeah, I might. I might get some other stuff from around the house and get my... Smooth... The fish are definitely buttons, but it's like, what order do you have to... I mean, well, maybe it's like you depress everything that is in contact with a fish. Or maybe it's more about the shape of the of the buttons. So yeah, you can't press the fish at this stage, but I reckon this like this seems like it'll be part of this whole thing. What if I try I don't know if I tried with just the green. Try the fish, try the fish, no. Yeah, just blue and just green. So I just try just green, no dice. I can exit out actually it's faster. Now just blue. Because, like, blue is a fish colour, right? Are you fucking kidding me, kidding me right now? <sighs> Sometimes I, you know, realise that I just have to lower my expectations of my own aptitude. And you know, I tried all green. I've tried all... I haven't tried all just this really dark, like, plain slate grey. Ah, uh, okay, I've got a key. Stick that key in that fucking hole. Yes. We did it. We did it. It was the grey. It was blue and then it was grey. <sighs> okay, so now we got... What's that? What is this thing? What's with this? <gasps> Did not expect that to work. Just suddenly, just really, just work. Just 
Okay. Well. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, good. That's changed now. Press that. Yeah, what's in there? Tell us. What's this? What's this? This is cool, right? Look at this. Okay. Okay, so now, uh, thank you, Dr. Point, you remembered. So it was circle, triangle, square, X. So that's what we do here. Circle, never, never, never. Triangle, square, and this dude. And go, do something. Circle, triangle. Yeah, that was, that was it. Maybe it's the diff other way around. Maybe it's this way. What do you mean? Do you mean like a... A safe? Oh, I see what you mean. Four circles, four triangles. Okay, that's really smart. Let's try that. Oh, great. Well, thanks, Dr. Boy. Only 256 combinations to try. Don't even worry about it. No, triangle. I'll do next. Combo? Good point. Maybe now's the combo. So let's go circle. Oh no, it's like got the triangle would go away. No. Circle, triangle, square. Star. Yeah! Fuck you, puzzle box. You know who's boss, don't you? Okay. I got a little glass, I got a little bottle. Drink it. <laughs> yeah, you know, at this stage, I would. So is that it? Is the puzzle box done now? Will the, will it tell us? No, it won't tell us. We don't, we don't know. I assume it is. And you know what? I think that's, yeah, it looks like it won't let us, yeah, it won't let us touch it. We did it. We did the puzzle box. Thank you, Dr. Poe. That was very helpful. Let's close that bureau. And let's... What is that? I wonder what we can do with that. What can we put in it? It's like having getting an empty bottle in Zelda. What would Rembrandt do? Okay. I'm going to save. That was an accident. Did I just do that? Did I just kill my game by accidentally clicking on new game? Oh. Hello darkness, my old friend. No, but I think I... <gasps> I definitely saw the void in that moment. Okay. Who did that? Is that a Goya? I think it is. Yeah, I should save. Easy does it now. Puzzle box. Slain. Return. Okay. Alright. Thanks, cat thing. What's this? Do anything with this? No. Scary. Oh, no. <laughs> Picture of the baby. Tragedy. It is a tragedy, honestly. What happened? Let's go and look at the tragedy room. What? The baby's here? What the fuck? What? How? Why? Wait a second. No. I feel like this is a different Is this a different game? Did I just accidentally load a different game? Did I go new game and then... What is happening? What the fuck is going on?
No, this is weird. Something weird going on here. This is bad. No, I don't. This is really bad, actually. No, I don't have the stuff in I don't have stuff in further of the game. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but it got might have got confused. I did click on you game and then Yeah, no, this is not. I've already used this these things. Like this is a totally different I guess Ascension is the closest thing. That's like three hours. Wow, that's sad. A bit confused about that. Yeah, it is three hours. How did that happen? That's really weird. Yeah, no, this is all wrong. But it was weird because it like... Yeah, I did save over an old slot. Oh, don't cry, and it's fine. It won't actually take that long now that we know how things go. It won't actually take that long to get back. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have done that. This is the this is the last thing that I have, which is actually not that bad. It just took so long to figure that shit out. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. But I go to the fucking puzzle box again, don't I? Ah, <sighs> puzzle box blues indeed. If it was, a, if I went new game, which I see that like I did accidentally click new game, and then when I went to return to the game, it had me in the same, like standing in the same place. It was weird. It was because like if you click new game, then it should start with like the entry, like video and all the stuff, and like that wasn't the beginning of a playthrough, right? <sighs> you know, sometimes, sometimes a loincloth demon just steals your baby, and sometimes the game just deletes what you just lose, you, sometimes you just lose your file. So sometimes it happens. It was weird. Oh well. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. No, I went to press a little. So we're here again, but don't worry about it. You know what? When life gives you lemons, hit it with a crowbar. 